Here we go. It's the one you've all been waiting for. The two mile five stairs handicap. I'm sure Martin is excited for this one. Super six, Martin Leader, nine to two, Maundy Thursday for Nick two to one. Velvet Monkey for James Show tens, Captain Morgan, Matt Cooper nine to four, Mumbles Pier Alex Cherry tens, Price Princess for Nick twenty, Spinning with Gary, and Zavua meant fourteen and seven seven to one for Jamie Hopkins. Eight go to post as you listen to me ramble on for a good five minutes. Two mile five on the dirt here at Kempton. Captain Morgan will take the lead from Price Princess in second. Velvet Monkey is in third. Mumbles Pier alongside Maundy Thursday, Super Six, Safua Ment, and Spinning McGarry, as the majority of them are all pretty much locked up together at the back of the pack. And it's Captain Morgan who takes this on now from Velvet Monkey, Maundy Thursday. Price Princess on the inside, Safuha Ment on the outside, Mumbles Pier, Super Six, and Spinning McGarry is at the back of the pack. A uh, two mile two to go, and running out of things to say. As Captain Morgan goes well, going past the finish line. A place where once I had the fortunate, um, oh, well, I was very fortunate to be able to see Corto Star pass the line as I was working on the track on Boxing Day in 2008. A uh, very enjoyable experience for my first King George. Seeing it from the inside of the track on the all-weather rather than in the stands. But Captain Morgan leads here as they go around the far bend. From Maundy Thursday, it's a Vuha Ment, Prize Princess, Velvet Monkey, Spinning, Super Six, Spinning McGarry and Mumbles Pier. Although what wasn't fun about that 2008 King George day is that it was ruddy cold. The track was frozen in the morning, and most of my job from 8 o'clock to 10 o'clock was breaking up ice and scooping it off the track. So that was fun. Anyway, as we go, that won't affect the all-weather here. Captain Morgan, Maundy Thursday, Zafuha Ment, Velvet Monkey, Price Princess, Super Six, Spinning McGarry, and Mumbles Pier at the back of the pack. As they come round to the home bend, still Captain Morgan. Plodding away out in front from Zafuha Ment, Maundy Thursday, Velvet Monkey, Super Six, Prize Princess, Spinning McGarry, and Mumbles Beer. Hey, another circuit and a bit to go here at Kempton. Captain Morgan, Zafuha Ment, Velvet Monkey, Maundy Thursday, Super Six, Prize Princess, Spinning McGarry, and Mumbles Beer. So they come to the end of the home straight. A lot of people might not know this, but there is a train station that sits right on the edge of the car park, just over the back of the bend after the home straight. And I don't think I've ever actually ever seen a train go through there. So who knows? If you've been on the Kempton train, put your hand up. They go past the finish line again. And it's Captain Morgan. Leads them into the final mile from Zavu Hermen. Velvet Monkey, Maundy Thursday, Super Six. Price Princess, Spinning McGarry, and Mumbles Pier is at the back, but we've got a long way to go. So, who knows? They're all in with a chance, as Captain Morgan's lead has been cut down by Zavua Ment to about two lengths. Velvet Monkey travelling well for James Shea, who has had an excellent season this year. Monday Thursday, Super Six, Price Princess, Spinning McGarry, and Mumbles Pier at the back of the pack. Six farms left to go, adjacent to the stands on the far side. Captain Morgan from Zafuha Ment. The gap is still about two to three lengths from Maundy Thursday. Velvet Monkey, Super Six, Price Princess, Spinning McGarry, and Mumbles Pier at the back of the pack. There's not been much change throughout, really. Zafuha Ment and Maundy Thursday being ridden along to try and get up to Captain Morgan, but making no ground yet. Velvet Monkey is still travelling really well, so is Super Six and Price Princess. No move from Spinning McGarry and Mumbles Pier at the back of the pack, but it looks like Mumbles Pier is getting a bit closer as we go towards the final three furlongs. Captain Morgan is still in front and is now being told to go for home. So it's Captain Morgan pushed along from the front and nothing is getting to this one yet. As Captain Morgan, the jockey, takes a look behind and sees them backpedalling in the rear mirror, but Captain Morgan, he takes another look. Maybe he should start to panic as the two driver horses are flying out of the pack. Maundy Princess and... 
Um, Maundy Thursday and Price Princess also coming in as Super Six, spinning McGarry and Mumbles Pier from the back of the pack. Velvet Monkey and Zavu Hament are probably beaten, but it's Captain Morgan from Price Princess, Super Six. Maundy Thursday, they go deep into the final furlong. It's still open between the top six, but it's Price Princess who takes over from Captain Morgan and Super Six. Maundy Thursday staying on with Mumbles Pier. Price Princess trying to hold on from Super Six and Maundy Thursday and does so. Price Princess, it's a winner for me. I'm amazed this one's won a race, I must say. But she's still done it, and done it well. She's kicked on, won by about three quarters of a length, half a length. Price Princess, a very juicy first, three to one. Wins it. Super Six was second, 11 to four for Martin. Maundy Thursday was third, your 11 to 10 favourite. And Mumbles Pier for Alex Cherry stayed on fourth at 18 to one.